This is how it looked before, super big and baggy. This is how it looks now, perfect, seamless. You can't even tell this jacket was downsized. Great, it looks perfect, fits well. So this is the story. She went to the thrift store and she found this really cute jacket and she's like, ooh, you nice. And she was like, ooh, but you XXL. <laughs> and so either way, she bought it and she loves it. But because it's so oversized, she needs it to fit her better. And so that's what I'm doing on her jacket now. So I will be showing you guys the very steps that I'm taking to downsize this jacket so you can follow them in your very own jacket as well. Let's get started. So the first thing that you have to do is wear the jacket and mark with a chalk how much you need to take in. What I did was I had my cousin wear the jacket and then with a chalk I made marks to determine how much I needed to take in from her waist up to her sleeve. Now that you have these marks in the jacket, you're going to bring it down to your table, to your mat, anywhere that you have to place down the jacket. And with the ruler and the chalk, you're going to create a straight line to make a solid line from the waist to the seam is different measurements because you're taking in more from the side and less from the arm. What we have to do next is cut the seam open. Do not... Be careful now, do not cut where you have the chalk line. You're going to cut where the seam is. Now that we have this open, I'm taking the clips and clipping the edges. This way the, the fabric doesn't move. Next, thread your needle and base following the chalk line. This base stitch is going to help us lay the fabric down so it doesn't move. The base stitch is a pretty long stitch and it's just there for us to have a nice straight line. Then you can remove it once you machine sew. And I recommend that you use a thread that is contrasting to the color of your jacket. This way you can see it. To finish the base stitching, the next step is to machine sew. And when you machine sew, all you have to do is follow your baseline, which is where your chalk line is. And because you're following the stitch that you made, in case your chalk disappears, you have these stitches right here. So now that we've machine sewed, we're going to use the flat foam seam. This is what going to, this is what's going to finish our seam and give it that seamless look that we're after. The seam that is facing the front of the jacket, that we're going to cut 5 eighths. Then the seam in the back side, this one right here, we're going to cut 1 fourth. Now we're going to take our iron, flatten it down, and then fold the 5 eighths seam down on top of the other seam that's smaller. This is the finish that you're looking for and that's why it's very important that you iron it down so it's nice and crisp. <laughs> and as you iron, make sure to pin so the, the, the fabric can stay in place. Now we're up to the last part of the tutorial. That is going to take the longest because we are hand sewing. We're using a ladder stitch. The ladder stitch is a very simple stitch, but because we're hand sewing, you have to make sure to take your time and double double thread as you use this ladder stitch. The ladder stitch is done first by making sure that you have your knot inside the folded seam. Then back and forth, you stitch from one from one side to the other. You sew you sew from one side to the other, making sure you have your thread doubled. Try your best to stay as close as possible from your previous stitch. When you run out of thread, back stitch and begin where you started. Each side took me three hours, so in total it was six hours to hand sew the seam closed. And then that's it, that was the last part. Honestly, you can like do this over the weekend, if it's, but if you have multiple things going on, it's best that you divide your time accordingly to working on this jacket and your other things because this hand sewing part you do not want to like have to do over and over again and that's something that I want to share with you it's super easy sewing the straight lines from the arm and the waist but once you once you reach this area this area of the arm because it's curving it can it can tuckle up this happened to me so many times and I had to like take out my thread and re-sew it I do not want you to struggle when you reach the arm. So what I found that helps me a lot as I as I did this curve was to 
pull the, the fabric and iron it very well so that as I hand sewed it curved nicely and to release tension that larger seam clip it a little bit once you reach the arm so it doesn't give you trouble and it doesn't have a tuckling crump um, wrinkling effect as you hand sew you're not seeing me you're not seeing me here wear a thimble it's a bad habit that you I do not use a, a thimble please if you can and you have one use a thimble I'm gonna go wear so you can see the finished result the end result is perfect as you can see we did an amazing job this took all together about 3.5 inches off from the jacket and we went from an XL to a nice custom size for her to wear this is the after it looks great it looks perfect fits well you can't even tell it was downsized it is an excellent result and exactly what I was looking for and she loved it once you finish it all you have to do is celebrate out of happiness because you have done an amazing job using this method I highly highly recommend it let's package it Insta I uploaded a picture of me wearing the jacket and I said how she didn't want to be in front of the camera she agreed here she is wearing the garment I don't know if you noticed but this band I made from the leftover scraps that I cut up enough fabric you can make a headband out of it and wear it with the jacket Together with this video tutorial, I also uploaded a brand tutorial in my blog that you can download and have these steps by steps there with you as you downsize. And I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial and these step by steps and downsizing this jacket and seeing this process as much as I did. I will see you guys next Saturday. Thank you so much for watching the tutorial. Before you go, click the like button, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Insta. Gemma Day Gang out. I will see you next Saturday.